Um, big forearms are awesome, and increasing your grip strength is uh, incredibly helpful in lifting weights and in life in general. And if you wanna, <laughs> you wanna give your father-in-law a handshake that'll make him wet his pants, you need to work your forearms. So here, we've compiled a list uh, in no particular order of my top five favorite exercises for forearm and grip strength. Wanna read them or you wanna just do that all day? Working my forearm right now. You can read them. Read them! <laughs> my brain's too hard. Okay, all so right. do you wanna get big forearms like these? <laughs> big veiny forearms. Yeah, like this. The Ooh. vascularity and the definition is real. Do some pull-ups of any variety you would like, you know? Uh, no, that one's wrong. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, how's that wrong? It's, it's special <laughs> variations of the pull-up. Okay, whatever. Okay, we got some... <laughs> dumbbells. Hex holds. Hex holds. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we got some uh, grippers and some rollers, and this kid will explain later. And then some farmer walks, which I'm not a farmer, so I don't know how to walk like a farmer. He will show again. <laughs> All right, you can pause it there. I don't think I myself up. We've got three pull-up variations for you here. The first one I'm going to be showing you is the wrist, wrist pull-up. So all you do is you take your wrist, you put it over the bar, you're not holding onto the bar, so you're putting it over the bar, and you got to keep your wrist locked in this position. So you do your pull-ups like that. You make sure, it, it, if it hurts in your elbows, don't do it. Uh, there's different variations that you can do. Show us. So, the second pull-up variation we have for you here are the fingertip pull-ups or the little, not a lot of hand pull-ups. Uh, you just grab on with as little bit of your hands as possible, mostly your fingers, and you just do your pull-ups like that. The third variation, the last variation we have for you here are the towel pull-ups. You just take either one or two towels and you wrap it over your pull up bar, and then you don't bunch it up or ball it up, you uh, just grab it, and if it's too slippery, then just stay with one towel, but if it's not, then two is your best bet. And you just do your normal, normal pull ups like that. Yeah, you're just holding it. Alright, so you ready? Are you recording? I better record. Alright, so here, next we have the dumbbell hex holds. It's really simple, you just grab a 15, 20 pound dumbbell, um, start with a 15, you don't want to drop it on the toes, and you hold it by the hex end. Uh, make sure you're not holding or hooking your thumb on the picture part or where the numbers are, that's cheating and doesn't count, and you suck. Uh, do Thank this you, for America. A while. Hold it for like a minute, uh, two minutes, uh, I don't know, five minutes if you're stunned, who cares? Uh, <laughs> uh, they were. Work a lot on your forearms, get you those big Popeye forearms. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cut that there. If you're zooming in, I'm gonna like murder your whole family. Just like snip snip at your balls. Alright, you ready? Nah, yeah, you're demonstrating that. No! Do you wanna stop the recording? <laughs> uh, so, next we have grippers. They look like this or like that. Um, those are like 20 bucks of dicks or your local sporting goods. Try Walmart, try something like that. Uh, they're very cheap, they work. This is a more high end from like online somewhere. You can get them uh, up to some ridiculous ungodly poundage that no one on earth can close. Uh, just get them and you just squeeze them closed. Just make sure they, they touch on the bottom. 
boom, boom, rep after rep. So uh, make sure that after you're done with the grippers, you do um, antagonistic forearm work. So you're working your muscles closing, so make sure you're working your muscles opening. Um, you can do this easily and very cheaply with a rubber band or like seven. You put them around your hand and you just open your hand back and forth like that. And it'll work the opposite muscle so you don't get terrible elbow pain. God. It doesn't work. My but that's why you got it. My dick's too big. It's the uh, disadvantage of having a massive wee wee. Alright, you wanna grab these? No. I don't. Cool, you're gonna come close. Alright, Ethan, you wanna give us a 3 to 1? What am I doing? 3, 2, All right. 1. Alright, you wanna stop that recording? I forgot the going. points. I don't know the fucking door. So keep your head down, your chest up, your shoulders back, nice and good posture. Keep your rib, rib cage down. Alright, so think like you have a glass on your collarbone. Look straight, look straight ahead. Just keep, keep your face down. Your head back, neck neutral. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna walk. And then you're gonna stop. And you're gonna walk back. There you go. Three, two, one. All right, so next up, next up, <laughs> last up, we have farmer's walks. Uh, farmer's walks are a great exercise, total body. You can use them for conditioning, uh, hypertrophy, or strength. Uh, William here is demonstrating the farmer's walks. Um, you really want to go heavy with these, so wait, wait until you're at your local gym, um, pick up something light, like an 80s, 85s to start out with. Um, <laughs> start going with like a nice, uh, easy 40, 45 yard pace, um, or something more like uh, 90 seconds um, for more hypertrophy in, or like a minute uh, to two minutes for the conditioning. So the conditioning and hypertrophy sort of overlap, and the conditioning, and, or excuse me, the hypertrophy and strength also overlap. So. Um, just play around with it however you want to do it is best. Um, a few key points here are. I don't want to do it right Are uh, keep your chest up and stand tall. Think like you have a glass of water on your collarbone and you don't want it to spill. Uh, keep your neck neutral. You don't want to jut your head forward or really pull it backwards. Um, make sure you're shrugging your shoulders a little up. Not too much, not ridiculous, but you just don't want them being overly pulled down. And I find that um, with a lot of athletes and guys that they uh, grab ridiculously heavy and their shoulders are pulled down and they're out of posture. So make sure you're uh, nice and good posture. Choose the heaviest dumbbell you can hold and then go back about 10 pounds. And uh, use that one. Uh, just one foot in front of the other and walk normally. You're still recording, it doesn't matter. Let's go! Alright, so uh, you may be wondering why I didn't talk about something like the fat grips or globe grips uh, or anything <laughs> that you can add onto a dumbbell to make it um, thicker or fat bars or stuff like that. Um, these are specific forearm exercises that you can do. I guess the variations of pull-ups aren't exactly these modifications, so... I guess this whole list was irrelevant. So, uh, pick up these if you want. They're a great addition. Um, all they do is they make the bar harder to hold. So you, just, you take it and you peel it apart. You put it over a nice dumbbell. Uh, and you just squeeze it as hard as you can. Uh, and you perform any curl rate variation you want. Um, any kind of exercise you want. Uh, so, thanks to remember. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Um, and it's kind of really all that there is to it. Do any kind of curling variation, pulling, um, deadlifts, you can do it with these, pull-ups, you can do it with these, um, heavy rows. These are even great for, um, pressing variations if you have the elbow pain. Sure. Right, so tell me one. Three, two, one. Alright, so 
Next exercise you got is, are the rollers. Uh, forearms respond well with uh, high volume, uh, and this is a great pump workout. Uh, it really burns, and you really feel a good pump. So just take a bar, uh, a barbell empty will do great, uh, and you just take it and you roll it. Like, I'm not curling with this. I'm not, I'm just I'm rolling it like um, like you're kind of uh, starting a motorcycle. So you do that number. Uh, just do this straight for a minute. Flip over and do the same thing, uh, but this motion and. You'll work the extensors and the flexors of the forearm, get a great pump, it'll feel awesome. That's why the shoulder hurts. So you can see my sweat. Real bad. Thank God we're recording this. <laughs> Public service announcement, don't squat, quarter squats, don't, uh, 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 make sure you're, you know, squatting all the uh, way to depth, and uh, nice, good form. So not that. Not that.